Okay, things changed. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do it by every loading point. So there's three or four loading points in the game. Well, guess what? There's three or four videos, which isn't much, but hey, what is going on? This is the car he was talking about. So there's definitely some elements of foreshadowing. Man, storytelling. English class. Okay, the entire world is flooded. What is even happening right now? Um, so this guy is definitely a drug addict who has some serious mental issues, who likes to isolate himself and thinks he is all that matters because obviously he's the only form of life we have seen so far. We haven't even seen birds. We've heard chirping and things. Hey, that word again. We've heard chirping and aspects in nature, but everything seems like an acid trip. Because this guy is... Oh, well, we're back here. That doesn't count as a loading point. I'm sorry. The, the reason why that doesn't count as a loading point. Um, one, because it was so short. And that's, that's really the only reason. So I, I don't want to like, hey, here's your three minute video and then seem like a douche because I'm just like releasing short videos. I'm, I'm a type of guy, I guess. So I will split these up, which earlier you're going to hear me talk about. I probably really shouldn't be talking about how I'm going to be doing a video series while I'm in the middle of the video series because it'll be very confusing. But it's something to talk about, so... Will this actually lead out? Watch this be a loading point, too. Hey, there's more videos. I feel like that counts as more of a loading point. What's going on? Is that the end of the game? Did I win? No, okay. I keep forgetting that that's how this game behaves. I'm not going to say which are considered loading points. I'm going to take care of that in editing. That's what I'm going to do. So ignore me. Ignore everything I've said about how I'm going to make these into separate videos. And we're going to start talking about other... Hey, I almost said that word again. Hey, I'm catching myself before. We're going to just talk about other... The moon over the Sanford same. Junction. Headlights in your okay, retinas. Donnelly drove a gray hatchback without a bottom. All the creatures of the tarmac rose to sing to him. All manner of symbols crudely scrawled across the cliff face of my unrest. My life reduced to an electrical diagram. All my gulls have taken flight. They will no longer roost on these outcrops. The lure of the moon over the Sanford Junction is too strong. Okay. But yeah. So, I, I, was, uh, I started out the video. I'm growing. It's The channel's growing. I've never fully put myself into a channel where I just upload me talking over video games. I've never tried to do that. I've never had the equipment to do it correctly. Fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. I could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a ruin. Stitching arm to shoulder and femur to hip, charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduce to ash, mix with water, make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and sea. This reiterates my uh, theory of that this man is just crazy on drugs. That there is uh, needles, bottles of medicine that appears, blood, and a computer that he appears to be worshiping. So maybe he is similar to me in the aspect of I worship my computer, but not like that crazily where I'm going to surround it by candles. Oh, wait, I already did that. Oh, that's, um, you didn't need to know, but seriously, I don't worship my computer in that aspect, and I barely even worship I just appreciate my computer. It's about appreciation, man. I was talking about that earlier. You got to appreciate things. Hey, that word again. <laughs> Sometimes you can't get rid of that word, but you can my whole reasoning behind uh, trying to eliminate the word from my vocabulary, mainly because it helps connect connect thoughts more and also just allows me to talk about more instead of just trying to summarize 
life and to one huge word that can be it's so um, vague. That's the re the purpose behind it, and I challenge you to do it yourself. Uh, try and rid of a word that's so common in your vocabulary, and try and replace it with several others. It'll, it'll grow your knowledge. I'm not sure if you're into growing your knowledge, but uh, it's there definitely positive. There were chemical positive. diagrams on the mug he gave me coffee. Skill you couldn't gain. Sticky at the handle where his hands shook. He worked for a pharmaceutical company with an office based on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. He'd been travelling back from a sales conference in Exeter, forming a strategic vision for the peddling of antacid yoghurt to the European market. You could trace the connections with your finger, join the dots, and whole new compounds would be summoned into activity. Okay, that's cool. I, I said that as if I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I didn't pay attention. I was too distracted with the writing on the wall. I have seen the writing on the wall. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Wow, that's kind of deep. Uh, I was trying to do a Pink Floyd reference before I got rudely interrupted by the video game that's trying to tell me a story. How dare it? Um, and you probably also heard another man who thought he was so dominant in his species that he just needs to go around riding his motorcycle whatever he was writing that was so loud and just roar it and just fully embrace the volume that it's producing okay that these are a little creepy um, am I allowed to swim? no okay uh, I'm lost where can I go from here? can I go up the hill? Did I come from that way? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I did. Hey, there's that tower. That we'll never get to. Um, so I'm at a issue. I've, I've come across an issue to where I don't know where I'm going anymore. Maybe I should... Okay, I died. I died. I'm dead. Okay, I didn't die. Man. Okay, that water's really deep for some reason. I don't know why that water is so deep, but it is. So don't go in that water for anyone who's watching this and wanting to fight themselves. Let's go down near the boats, maybe. That seems to be the correct thing. Hey, that word again. That seems to be the correct action to commence upon. Oh, so we definitely go this way, and I'm just overlooking things. And there's that word again. It's such a good word! You can't just rid of it, but I am. I will repeat my sentences twice in a row to annoy the crap out of my audience, if that's all it takes. And then say some stupid one-liner like, hey, there's that word again every time. I'm not trying to make that something... Does something count? I don't know. Something's a bit more complex. <laughs> something that I generally do, but uh, trying to make it my trademark. But uh, it seems to be that way, man. I want to talk about how difficult commentating is. No, it's not difficult. It's just trying to talk. It's just you're becoming an entertainer. You are a self promoter. You, it's there's so many aspects that go into commentary in its own fashion. And I don't want to dwell too deep in the topic because I, in the future I would like to talk about this. But uh, it, it's definitely a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. In the aspect of that, it kind of drains your brain. Your brain. 
I've always heard people describe it as like putting your your brains mushy and like, oh, I've been commentating all day. I've had to work. It's like, sorry, I couldn't even think there. Um, it it's as if, oh, playing video games. It's so hard, but there's a lot that goes into it. There's making sure everything works. It seems as if, oh yeah, that's not really that big of a deal, but you definitely have to do that. Did I just do one huge circle? <sighs> That's upsetting if I did. There's no way. There's no way this game's gonna make me do this right now. But, um, yeah, no, you should give it a chance. It, it helps you really get com comfortable with speaking. So if you, if I've, ah, I'm stuttering. If you have an issue with uh, speaking in front of people, it definitely will resolve that and allow you to feel more comfortable in how you speak. That's what I'm taking from it, at least. Uh, not everything I say is true or um, should be fully consented upon as knowledge you should definitely dwell into, but should take what I'm looking or take what I'm saying and just... You're, I'm telling you how to run your own life. Wow. Okay. Hello, viewer. I'm your master now. Fear me. Oh, that's wonderful. There's more runnings on the wall. Because I don't think I need anything at all. No, don't think I need anything. Hey, there's pink plate rats. Without getting interrupted. Okay, hopefully I'm going the right way. It appears I am. I don't remember this, but everything's starting to look the same at this point. I really want to go back there, but I feel as if this game really punishes you if you go the wrong way by going slow. Not trying to make fun of the game. But, um... Yeah. There's... Okay, I can't really go this way. So, it looks like I do have to go the way I did want to go. But yeah, the game definitely seems to punish you by walking very slow. And don't tell me I went in a giant freaking circle, because I'd be very upset <laughs> if I did, because then I'd have to backtrack. Oh no. It appears that way. Ah, and that's when I actually got kind of annoyed and frustrated. Oh no, I'm frustrated. No, ah, life's so serious. Ah, video games. How dare you be entertaining? It's just I honestly do feel as if this game punishes you for not choosing to go the right way by saying, "Hey." The game doesn't tell you deliberately like it could. It, the game could just say, hey, you went the wrong way, so, haha, it sucks. You're going to have to walk slowly for the rest of the time, and you'll be sitting there crying, and your mom's going to come upstairs and wonder what the hell's going on. I'm like, why are you crying? The video game's making me go slow. And then she just takes it away from me. It's like, you, you can never play video games again because you're a pansy, and life itself right there just seems kind of stupid. Talk about tangents, I, I feel like that was the queen of all tangents. If they gave out an award for going off on tangents, uh, I feel maybe I wouldn't necessarily win it, but um, right there, I would definitely be noted as if, oh, or as in the, this guy is pretty good at tangents. Talking about tangents as if it's a form of art. Like, we, there's an award show every Saturday in June, the first Saturday of every June, that uh, they give out an award to the, the best person, or just the tangents in general. So there's different categories, and um, they can never really seem to get through the award show. It kind of lasts like two weeks because they just keep going off of tangents. Hey, comedy, that was, that was funny. You know it was. You enjoyed it. You're smiling. You slide dog you. you you thought it was funny you know you did okay um, I'm not the master of you but what if I was wasn't I say, saying something about that earlier I feel like I went off on a tangent 
Man, how many words can you, how many times can you say tangent in a minute? Um, let's try it. Tangent, tan. No, sorry, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just trying to fill time because obviously I am literally just walking, and I couldn't really do that on uh, the shattered. The shattered. Feel as if I'm a really old person who doesn't know what he's put the in front of everything. You ever notice how old people do that? They do that. Trust me. It's like, oh, you graduated the high school. That's my old person impression. I'm obviously a very skilled voice actor in my own fashion. And you should uh, commemorate me because I am the number one voice acting tangent. Fly dog round. Yeah. I'm really frustrated <laughs> with this game right now. It's uh making me walk slow, and I don't like walking slow. Don't tell me I could go up that hill, cause I I thought that w was where I came from, but I guess it wasn't. So everyone who's watching me earlier is like, don't go that way, and then ten minutes later, here I am. I'm going this way. <laughs> so I apologize for not listening to you in the future. I wish I really could have done that because I don't have the ability to do that. But then we would have had all of our fun times where I talked to you and spoke to you about, hey, all these uh, life events and the tangent event. It was a great time. You had a great time. I had a great time. Uh, maybe we could have had a great time while progressing the story, but uh, it didn't appear that way. So now you, you were the pain in my legs oh, sent me sorry. blind for a few minutes as I struggled up the cliff path. I swallowed another handful of painkillers and now I feel almost lucid. The island around me has retreated to a hazed distance, whilst the moon appears to have descended into my palm to guide me. I can see a thick black line of infection reaching for my heart from the waistband of my trousers. Through the fugue. It's all the world like the path I have cut from the lowlands towards the aerial. I feel like this game's going to end very soon. If not, I'm 20 or 30 minutes away from it. Which isn't a bad thing, but I'm starting to get calls from people. And it's not as if I'm just paying attention to my phone my entire time. It's muted, and I'm not even touching it. I'm just looking at it. I'm getting calls from uh, my friends. And they want to hang out, and I'd like to enjoy hanging out with them, considering... I've begun my voyage in a school. paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. You can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged, and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. It's really beautiful. I feel like there's another story going on with the writings on the walls and the bricks on the walls and all that. See, the Pink Floyd reference is really potent when you start, start talking about walls considering they have an entire album about a wall. It's a theoretical wall, but still. Hypothetical. But um, I, I'm not really paying enough attention, and I, the font's a bit difficult to read. I've been able to pick up on some of it, but uh, some of it has been going right through me. And I uh, see rep replayability. Maybe one day I want to go replay through this game and actually pay attention to these, or I could just read up online what they are saying and be lazy and not experience the game anymore. If only oh, Donnelly had experienced dark this, music. he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. I feel as if that radio tower's end, so this is sort of... Either this game came before or after Slender, but I feel like Slender really got its influence from this. Uh, I'm not a game reviewer, but... I like making comparisons every once in a while. Returning to my car afterwards, hands still shaking, and a head split open by the impact. Goodbye to tearful aunts and traumatized uncles. 
Goodbye to the phenomenal. Goodbye to the tangible. Goodbye Wolverhampton. Goodbye Sanford. Goodbye Cromer. Goodbye oh, Damascus. This cliff path is slippery in the dew. It is hard to climb with such an infection. I must carve out the bad flesh and sling it from the aerial. I must become infused with the very air. Um, what? I feel as if this island's purgatory. That sounds very similar. Um, lost people think that lost is all purgatory. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get on a tangent about lost because uh, I've talked about that too much with my friends. It's I don't want to talk about it again on video <laughs> and then being proven wrong by people who actually pay more attention to me. But uh, I feel as if this is island is purgatory. That's just a simple way of saying I don't know what that was going on, though. <laughs> but uh, it definitely has that feeling because of that weird dream thing earlier. It seems as if he died. Maybe. Maybe he's walking the Green Mile, man. Blind with panic, deaf with the roar of the cage traffic, heart stopped on the road to Damascus. Paul sat at the roadside, hunched up like a gull, like a bloody gull. As useless and as doomed as a syphilitic cartographer, a dying goat herd, an infected leg, a kidney stone, blocking the traffic bound for Sanford and Exeter. He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. All his roads and his tunnels and his paths led inevitably to this moment of impact. This is not a recorded natural condition. He should not be sat there with his chemicals and his circuit diagrams. He should not be sat there at all. This is getting really tense. So I'm going to silence myself a little. Because I feel something very dramatic. Oh, yeah, something very dramatic is about to happen. This is definitely near the end of the game. It was a pleasure playing this game. I'm just going to go ahead and make the assumption. Uh, this game is so far been very great. I'm sure this ending is even greater than anything I could possibly imagine. So I'm not sure how, how it will end. I have run out of places to climb. I will abandon this body and take to the air. Am I going to fly? Or, no, he means spirit Dear flies. Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. You've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Nice. Either he has something to glide or he literally has something to kill himself. Yeah, he's killing. When I get to see what this is, is that worth a human life? Probably not. Oh, do I have control over this? No, I don't. Or is he actually flying? I have no clue at this point. I'm pretty sure he killed him. Or he was a magical bird man. He's also a lawyer. Sorry, my commentary is very silent. I'm expecting more story on this pop up. Maybe this is it. Maybe the credits start rolling in. Yeah, this is. Definitely has been a very great game. And it's a very simple game. It allowed me to just talk with you people that watch my videos. Probably not many of you. And that's fine. I don't really need an audience. It's just the art of doing YouTube is what I enjoy. And just sharing with the community. For even if it's just one person, two people. Maybe if it's just all my friends. Or like my mom is like, hey, 
was all your video. That'd be weird. I wouldn't want my mom seeing this, but uh, it's definitely. Oh, I see a bird shadow. So that's interesting. Maybe he did die, and it's a bird flying now. Or maybe a bird's flying along with him. I don't know. I'm making too many assumptions. But uh, this game was definitely a very fun game to just sit back, relax, and enjoy like hour of a real story-driven game and be done with it. That's the amazing part of it. And I definitely had a great time with it. And, um, I'm assuming it's over right now. So this is why I'm giving my final goodbyes. Um, was, thank you everyone for watching. And Come back. Oh, I should. Probably not talk over it. Is it over? Do I get achievements? Oh, please tell me you got I don't care about achievements. I was just joking around there. Um, I'm going to click. Hopefully that doesn't ruin anything. What is going on? Is it over? But yeah, I'm going to keep restating what I was saying, but it, it definitely was a fun game, and I have nothing negative to say about it. Very short, simple. Simple, but complicated at further examination. There was probably a lot that went into this game, and it's very art-driven. It's probably someone's swan song of just how they want games to be produced. Um, did my game freeze, or am I done? Okay, I'm going to assume that it's over. And that it's safe for me to exit to the main menu. Yeah, it seems like that type of game. Okay. So, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, look forward to more videos in the future. This is my first Let's Play, and it was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. It was a good start to what will come in the future. Uh, Maybe one day we'll all look back on this like, hey, remember when you made Dear Esther and you didn't know what the hell you were talking about and you were talking about how you were going to cut up the videos and it turns out you didn't even obey any of those things you were saying and you were just sharing stupid thoughts. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Yeah, remember that? That was cool. And maybe one day we'll all be millionaires with our towers, and boats, and stuff. But once again, I want to thank everyone for watching and keep on supporting the Let's Play community. Not me necessarily. You don't have to support me. Maybe you just wa were watching this and felt like dealing with an asshole while watching it. <laughs> but um, thank you everyone for watching once again. I'm going to say that five more times. And uh, peace out, man.